Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. A viewer recently requested a tutorial on how to paint the dappled gray coloring on a horse. So for today's video, I'm gonna show you a really fun and easy technique for creating that dappled effect without meticulously painting every single spot using blooms and salt techniques. So let's jump in. So I'm gonna start with clean water on my Escoda size eight round brush. And I'm just gonna paint a section of the paper with water first. We'll be using the wet and wet technique to create these fun effects. It is important to study your reference photo just to get the colors right, but I don't want you to worry about getting all of those individual little spots on the dappled gray horse because the technique that we're gonna to use today is really just gonna do the work for us. It'll be so easy. So once you've got a nice glossy surface without any puddling, then you can begin to drop in some of your paint color. So I'm gonna be using my Daniel Smith Indigo here first and just painting that in. Kind of suggesting that bluish gray and a dapple gray horse. And then I'm gonna mix in a little bit of burnt umber here and there because oftentimes on a dapple gray horse, you have a bluish effect and you also see some browns inside of that gray. It's never just one color. There's just a lot of different colors in there. So I'm mixing all of those in, just the indigo and the brown and trying to make it a nice mix between warm and cool within that. Now I'm just gonna let that dry for ever so slightly. And as it begins to dry, that is your window of opportunity to add the dapples. To do that, I'm gonna create blooms in the paint. And so I'm just dipping my brush in the water and I'll be using clean water. And then taking your clean water, you just tap the paper and you can see the blooms already beginning to form. And you can place smaller ones and larger ones all fairly close together don't go for uniformity here because you don't see that in nature. Try to mix it up as far as size and spacing. Such a fun effect and so easy as you can see. The timing is important with this particular effect because if you Wait for it to dry too long, it just won't work. Or if you do it when it's too wet, again, it won't work. So you want just that perfect glossy finish on your colors in order to achieve this effect. And then one more thing you can do to make it even more interesting is to take some table salt and while it's still wet enough, sprinkle a little bit of that table salt on the dapples, not too many. You don't want this effect to overpower those blooms. So I just added a few little grains of salt and wait for that to dry and see what happens. So here's the final effect. You can see the salt added some really interesting effects where it lightened it even more. And if you're wanting something that has a lot of texture like that, this is such a fun thing to do for that dapple gray. Here's another one I did where I used even more salt. You can see the difference or it looks even more dimensional and like it has various levels to it. This one still, it looks a little bit more like frost to me than dapples. So I think I would probably use this technique when painting a dapple gray horse. So I'll show you guys in this next time lapse the entire project from start to finish on using this exact technique on an actual painting.
If you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you're new here. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.